Hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. So for that, I'm always very grateful. I am going to do a Cancer April Love Prediction reading. Cancer April Love Prediction reading. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, if you enjoy my reading, if you give me a subscription or a like, I will be most humbled, most honored, and I'm always very grateful. Thank you in advance if you decide to do that. I promise you, as I always say, you will not be disappointed. Let's see what's going on with my wonderful cancers. My wonderful cancers. What's going on with my cancers? Thank you, spirit guys, for coming into my space. Thank you, ancestors. Let's see, cancers, what you got going on in April. You got the King of Cups. Justice, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and Ten of Swords. Well, you kick off the week with the King of Cups. You kick off April, excuse me, with the King of Cups, which means that you have a very controlled emotion concerning someone. Very, very controlled emotions. Um, somewhat, sometimes the King of Cups, they say, is a manipulation spirit. But your emotions are very controlled. And that's kind of hard for you, Cancer, because Cancers are always filled with so much emotion. So whatever this is, you're looking at it and you're weighing it, um, this situation. You're weighing it closely. Because... Next to that, you have the Justice card, which means that you're trying to find a balance with this situation. This could be a Libra person as well. But whatever you're doing, you your your emotions are, are, are not where they used to be with this situation. And you're weighing it um, for what it is. You're trying to weigh it. Now, you also have the Seven of Pentacles next, which means the Seven of Pentacles always, to me, is a card of growth. You're looking to see how much this relationship has grown or if it has grown or if there's even growth potential with this relationship. You're looking to see that because, like I said at the beginning, you have a very controlled emotion here. You've pulled back your emotions on some things and you're very controlled. You're watching it. Um, and you also are looking for the growth potential in this relationship. Now, I think with all that being said, why the Three of Wands is here is because you're looking out, um, you're making actions toward the future um, concerning this situation. And I don't think that um, this is giving you what you want and what you need from life because your mindset is on the future. You're looking at, you looked at growth with this potential with this situation, but your mindset is on the future with the Three of Wands. But then you have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Swords means that it is completed. Whatever you did, you looked at it, you watched it, you you tried to see it grow, you you uh, pulled back your emotions so you wouldn't be so crazy with it and just look at it from an objective point of view. But somehow, this Ten of Swords means that it is this relationship is completed. This relationship is done, it's over. If you give me another three to five minutes, I will clarify the cards for you. Let me clarify the cards so that I can give you the clearest picture on what's going on with you. So let's see, why is the King of Cups here? Show me, Spirit Guys, why is the King of Cups here for Cancer? Ah, you have the Three of Cups. You have the Three of Cups. Three of Cups means that you have been, um, had a good time. You are, uh, when you and this person possibly were together, there were always good times. Um, you like to go out and have good times together. But let's see why this justice card is here. Let's see why the justice card is here. Well, these good times that you had, uh, they, I, I think you did just a little bit too much of them. I think that it was just a little bit too much of them because the reason I say that you have the nine of swords and so the Nine of Swords over the Justice card to me means that you were trying to weigh your options. Maybe you guys um, were at, you know, have met at, at events. You've been to a lot of different events. Maybe that's not what you want to do all the time. I don't know. But here it is. What was telling me here, Justice, you were looking for balance. But then you're in the Nine of Swords. You're in that energy of Nine of Swords. And Nine of Swords means you can't eat. You can't sleep. You can't think. Your mind is constantly whirling, constantly twirling. And with this situation, that's what I see. Your mind is constantly twirling with this person. You're not secure with them at all. Um, let's see why the Seven of Pentacles is here. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for you? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Oh, you have the Three of Swords. They have brought you heartache. You tried to look for growth with it, but they have brought you heartache. 
Um, I think they're just, and, and just based off of this, I think they like to be out and about and doing it and doing it. Um, cancers can be homebodies. You're not so much that person. Please don't give me thumbs down. You like to have fun, but you also are a homebody person, a home person too. You like to be home. You like to have a great home. You like to, it's, it's not so much about the world to you. It's about what you have, uh, internally with your home. And perhaps this person was not that kind of person and you figured it out because you tried to watch it grow here. You really did. You tried to watch it grow. You tried to get the balance here. I think they were a partier. They were always out there they like to do that which is fine i'm not saying partying is not good but you have to have a balance with it you have to be able to create a comfortable space at home as well so let's see why the three of wands is here why is the three of wands here for you cancer prince of pentacles the princess of pentacles so you were looking at you're looking at for the future and you're looking at um the possibilities of growing financially, uh, growing with things with, um, with, um, here. And this situation is not bringing that to you. I think they like to be out and doing it a lot. I think they like to be out and partying and having fun and, you know, which is fine, like I said, but you're looking for something more. And then, you know, let, let's see. Let's see why the Ten of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Show me why the Ten of Swords is here for, for Cancer. Yep. Look at that. They had a lot of different options, Cancer, didn't they? Look at that. They had a lot of different options, so oh, I see. So, they at the very beginning of this reading, I said you had the King of Cups, which is controlled emotions. Um, you were controlling your emotions with this situation. This person, I think, liked to be out about. They liked to be partying. They liked to do a lot of different things, which is fine. But it was an overload for you because you were trying to find a balance. Because you, like I said, you like your home life as well. You also have the nine of swords, which means that you really care for this person. But you are always, they put you in that energy of always in your, you can't eat, you can't sleep. You don't know what they're going to do, what they're going to do possibly when they're at parties. You know what they're going to do. Are they with you? And I don't think you felt secure with them. Because you kept watching it, trying to watch it grow. With the seven of pentacles here, you kept, look, she's looking. She's trying to watch it grow. She's trying to find the balance and watch this relationship grow. But it didn't grow and it caused you heartache. It caused you this this nine of source energy. This caused you heartache because, like I said from the beginning, that's not something you want to do all the time. Um, and it caused you heartache. So you're looking at the future here and you're making moves towards the future. You're making moves with your money, with money manifestation. And I don't think this person that you were with was actually uh, allowing you to do that. I think they were, you you know, you're a worker as well, but they were too busy out here in the streets. That's what I see from this reading. They didn't give you what you needed to take it to the next level. And then you said, I don't think I can handle this because not only that, they had so, they had other options. They, were, uh, they weren't tied to you. They weren't secure with you. You weren't secure with them. Um, so they had other options. They had a lot of different options. They were doing. You were not their only option. There was a lot of confusion. There were a lot of different options that they were looking at. And you said that's not something that you want to be a part of. You want to, um, to be with some one somebody and not seven somebodies or five somebodies. So let's see. Let's see. I'm going to pull an angel oracle card and see what the angel oracles have to say to you. Okay. Let's see. It says, or they say, meditation brings answers. I think you've already meditated on this situation. I think you've meditated on it. I think you made your decision. Matter of fact, I know you've made your decision because you said it's done. It's over with. You made a decision. And, um, yeah, I think that's just what it was. They just weren't on the same page that you were. And meditate on this. Meditate on what your next steps are. That's what I think the angel oracles are telling you. Meditate on what your next steps are after this situation. What did you learn? So that's what I have for you, um, Cancer, for your April um, love prediction reading.